the views out here are insane. Goodness gracious, look at that. It's incredible. Today's the day, guys. We're leaving West Texas, going to Arizona. And of course, it's raining for the first time in months. Months. That right there is a monsoon hitting Alpine, Texas the hour before we leave for Arizona. You cannot make that up. All right, guys, we are on the road. Uh, our drive today, tonight, is going to be about six hours, a little more. Um, we're almost to El Paso here, probably maybe 45 minutes away. And uh, we're going to pick my dad up from the airport, maybe get something to eat, and then we're going to get as close to Tucson as we can so that we can get up in the morning and get to Herping. So, Rest area Herping. Flipping some Hobo's mattress. Um, a millipede. It smells horrible. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's a dad. You won't be surprised to find out I've rolled into Arizona and have already found a train that's blocking my path. All right, guys, it is a little after 1 a.m. right now, and we have just rolled into the town we're spending the night, and we're gonna do a little bit of poking around out here before we go to bed for the night and get up early in the morning. We got here faster than I was expecting, so we've got a little time on our hands, and we're gonna see what we can do with it. Yeah. <laughs> I just... <laughs> That's the biggest freaking toad I've ever seen. I just saw like a football go flying over the top of this mound and looked over and Steven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So our first. <laughs> 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 All right. He's not good at being a toad. <laughs> So this is a Sonoran Desert Toad. I think they're also sometimes called Colorado River Toads. And these guys are fat. <laughs> <laughs> you just had a bite? <laughs> <laughs> I ate a bug. He ate me. <laughs> we got a jumping football. Oh my god! So these guys are notorious for being, uh, what do you call it? Psychedelic? Is that the right term? If you lick them? So, uh, there's a lot of, lot of memes about these guys on the internet. People licking them, eating them. They're supposed to make you have a, a really nasty trip. But uh, we're not going to eat this guy, obviously. We're going to take photos of him and let him go. This is a really awesome way to start our trip, something we were all hoping to see, so... He can't climb up this hill because he's so fat. <laughs> we just cruised our second desert toad of the night. Look at that. This one's a lot smaller than that other one, but still, I mean, that's a pretty impressive size for a freaking toad. He's bleeding a little on his back. Anyways, we're gonna get this little guy out of the road. Nope. He's gonna get himself out of the road. All right, guys, here's our first toad of the night that is not a desert toad. This is a nice looking couch of spadefoot toad. We have these guys in West Texas, but this one looks quite a bit different from the ones we see there. Always a nice toad to see. So we're just gonna get this little neon glowing ball of dirt out of the road and keep cruising. All right, guys, we are in the hotel for the night. We're gonna get some sleep. It's about almost four in the morning right now. We saw no snakes alive tonight. We saw a dead night snake. And uh, that was it for snakes, so. Anyways, we were really hoping to see some of those big Sonoran Desert toads. So that was a awesome way to spend our first night in Arizona as far as I'm concerned. It was a little cool, a little bit wet, and uh, 
hopefully we'll be able to make up for that tomorrow in the morning with some snakes. So I will see you guys bright and early at well in two hours. Good morning. It's overcast. Poor <laughs> Herpin AZ, Georgia style. And uh, yeah, it's not, I feel like it's not gonna work out very well. What you want to say? Steven. Oh, the things, a wheelie. We're going to look for willies. Just to clarify, willies are a species of small montane rattlesnake that live out here, and they're really cool looking. And those are just one of the many things we'll be in range of today that we're really hoping we'll see. So, what do you want to see today? I want to see, you know what I want to see. Green rats. Green rats. So, we're going to start off the morning hiking, and then this afternoon we're going to start cruising, and hopefully we'll see plenty of snakes. So, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to drive off the cliff looking at that view over there. This is insanely beautiful. Look at that. All right guys, so we just pulled up to our site that we were gonna hit today. Stepped out of the car and this guy just hopped out from the clump of grass. I think the common name on these guys is Arizona tree frog maybe, but this is Hyloritorum and definitely one of the most beautiful looking frogs I've ever seen. This thing's incredible. Look at that. That's unreal looking. It's hard to believe that something like this lives in the desert. Look at this frog. Look what we just flipped under a piece of tin. A banded rock rattlesnake. Beautiful little club. Nothing on the uh, the ones we saw in New Mexico earlier this year, obviously, but that's still a good looking little snake. All right, now that this little guy's sitting still, can I get a better look at him? Uh, no, I have not. Good looking little snake. Good first snake of the trip. That's alive, at least. Anyways, we're going to get a couple quick photos of this guy and leave him right here where we found him. No. Wow. That thing is freaking cool looking too. Look at that. Beautiful centipede. Do better, Arizona Herpers. Ridiculous. It's not that hard to put 10 back. Look at this. Ridiculous. Check this out, guys. Just flipped one of my favorite lizards under a rock out here. This is a Madrean alligator lizard. No! Ow! That's not nice. I didn't bite you when I picked you up. Anyways, we're going to photograph this guy and let him go. Pretty cool. So, Stephen and I were walking up to this little log to flip it, and uh, there's him. That is a willy. A wet willy, in fact. The, here's this. This is the Arizona ridge-nosed rattlesnake. One of the biggest things we were hoping to see today on our first day in Arizona. And here we have one. So that is a major goal accomplished, something we all wanted to see, and really one of the more unique snakes we have here in the United States. These guys are only found in a couple of small mountain ranges here in southeastern Arizona and nowhere else in the United States, at least. So... We are going to get a couple of quick photos of this guy right here and leave him alone. All right, there he goes back under the log that he was sitting out front of. Look at that little rattle. That's too cool. Let's see if I can see his face around this side. Yep, look at that. What a beautiful little snake. Come on, camera focus. There we go. All right, well, the Arizona trip has already been everything we were hoping it would be, and a little bit more. So we're like three or four hours in. I'm going to leave that beautiful little guy right there and see what else we can find. Hey, look, another one. This one's even prettier. Good looking little ridge and house. Dang, that's a nice looking little snake. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this thing. This one is even prettier than the last one. Definitely lighter in color. I think that last one might have been about a shed. Look at that. Anyways, second ridge nose of the day. We're going to leave this little guy to it and keep herping. This little guy is coiled up right here and seems to be content to sit under this grass. So I'm going to give you one last look at this beautiful little snake and we're going to leave him right here where we found him. Alright guys, well it is almost noon. I think it's like 1130 maybe out here. And uh, I guess we've only seen three live snakes this morning, but they were all good ones, so... We are not complaining, but we're going to continue hitting this area until uh, it starts to get a little warm, maybe, or around lunchtime. With a bunch of complainers. They don't like the fact that it's uh, cold. cold and raining. <laughs> <laughs> you look comfortable. <clears throat> BSS. FSD. Rain. really coming down. Hopefully this means good things for tonight, but we will see. What is up guys? We just caught a little nap at the hotel for an hour or two after we got dinner, and it is still overcast, still cool, and still wet. And we are about to head out for the night and try to find some snakes. So I don't know a whole lot about how Arizona works, but in Texas when it's a uh, 66 degrees at dusk and uh, wet. It's not the best road cruising weather, <laughs> but we're going to give it a shot anyways. Hopefully there will be some fossorial stuff out, like maybe a king snake or a uh, coral snake. So that's what we're hoping for tonight, but given the, uh, the conditions, we're not too optimistic. I'll keep you guys updated. When you go to Arizona and start road cruising and it's 62 64 68 it's just cold here everywhere we've been we found the graffiti bridge though so. nice whoa whoa <laughs> look at that another big one this road is uh, a lot warmer than where we were a few minutes ago so we're hoping that we'll be able to turn up some snakes out here, but here's another good looking Sonoran Desert Toad. Hey, buddy. What? What? All right, guys. Well, since we can't manage to road cruise anything, we decided to walk this wash a little bit and I shine this. I was going to say little, he's not little. This big, I think this is a desert spiny lizard, Scoloporus magister, sleeping in a little bush. Really good looking Scoloporus, but pretty cool. We're going to get a couple quick photos of this guy and put him back in his bush. Ah, it's cold, raining, and wet in the desert, and you can't find any snakes. Classic. Toads and geckos. This is a Tucson banded gecko, and he does not want to sit still. We saw a couple of these guys earlier in the year in New Mexico, but I love coleonics to death, so it's always nice to see them. And this is only like the fourth or fifth one of these I've ever seen, so I'm going to get some photos of this guy and make sure he gets off the road. So I was trying to get video of that last band of gecko, and we looked up the road, and he had a friend. I think that's the first one, this is the second one, but pretty cool. These guys are definitely out apparently now. Somehow we hadn't seen any all night, and then I guess this next little burst of rain that just hit got him out. So we're going to get some photos of these guys and let them go.